Yo, what's up, what's up, guys? It's your boy here, Prince Newton, and you're watching Triple P TV, number one TV station in entertainment, guys. Yani mini luambia msani akiwa Kenya in one way or the other. We have to look for that given artist and bring them on the show, and especially this given artist, guys. You love him so much, all the way from South Africa. I know you guys already got a clue in your mind who it is, yeah. But anyway, guys, I have a surprise for you today. We have the one and only Nasty C. You alright, bro? I'm chilling, man. Welcome to Kenya, bro. Thank you for yeah, I'm sorry about uh, the weather here. Is it the same in South Africa, bro? Yeah, yeah, it's winter back at home. It's very cold down here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. No, well, it's fine. Oh, okay. Oh, I like it. And uh, by the way, guys, for those who don't know, Nasty C is a BT Award winning artist and recently MTV Award winning Hip Hop Artist of the Year 2021, bro. How do you feel about that, bro? Uh, I feel good. I didn't actually win a BT, by the way. Uh -huh. Yeah, I was nominated. You're nominated? Ah, but soon you're gonna get it, bro. I'm not sure. Yeah, bro. It's alright. And uh, how do you feel about being the uh, MTV 2021 uh, Hip Hop Artist of the Year? Uh, I feel honored, man. You know, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a nice thing to get as an artist. Yeah, yeah. yeah. in the category there were other big uh, rap artists from Africa, mm -hmm. and uh, you became the best of them all. You know, yeah. and some are from Kenya, and uh, you defeated some of our best. You know. Uh, it, yeah, okay, okay. And uh, how does it feel in Ke being in Kenya, bro? This is not your first time, it's not your yeah. second time. You've been here a couple of times. Yeah, I've been here a couple of times, man. It's, it's always a vibe, it's always nice. Yeah, the people here are always like super nice, super chill, you know. I yeah. like it. Uh, that's why I'm here for like a long time. Oh, okay, bro. And uh, you started your music in 2013. It's been nine years uh, you've been in the game. What's that one thing you can uh, say you've achieved, or uh, rather you've changed about the South African music? What, what have I changed? Yeah, about the South African music. I don't think I changed anything. I think I just inspired a lot of um, kids to to just go for it, man. You know, when I when I was coming up, I think all of us were kind of under this impression that you had to have the best studio equipment, you yeah. had to have the best cameraman, the best this and that. But when I came out, I literally just used everything that I had, you know, and I made it work. So I, I guess I kind of made people realize that you don't really need all that stuff. Just use what you have. And if you're talented and interesting and devoted enough, people will pick up. Uh, okay. And uh, now you know before you came through, yeah, uh, with the uh, type of music you're doing, hip hop and such, uh, most people do not happen to know much about the South African music. Mm -hmm. But now when uh, you came through, you happen to give you guys some attention, mm -hmm. to know that there can be talented uh, musicians from South Africa as well. So how does that make you feel as an artist, or rather how do you feel through those nine years you have been able to... Uh, create some space and time for other artists as well. You have a signing yeah. from your recording label, Rolling. Yeah, yeah. It feels amazing, man. Um, I think it was gonna happen with or without me, but I'm just I'm, I'm happy that I was a guy that um, was able to fly this flag, you know, as far as I can. Still flying it to this day, you know. And um, kind of made people realize that we have more than just house music and white though. We have hip hop, we have R and B, we have different types of flavors and genres. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I feel feel proud. Man. Oh, okay, bro. Uh, so nasty, yeah. Uh, you've released three albums since uh, you started doing music. There's uh, Bad Hair, Zuluman, and uh, some, yeah, and there's uh, some Power. I mean, uh, Strings and Blings. Yeah. You released that as well. And are you working on another album already? Yeah, yeah I am. I'm actually in the finishing stage of another album. So this year, you should expect another album from you. I hope we can drop this year. Oh, you hope? I hope. Yeah, I hope. Because last year you released another album, so I'll be surprised if you release another one this year. Hey man, never know. And uh, speaking of your album, yeah? yeah. Um, you're in Kenya, and uh, you've been in Kenya before so many times. I don't know why you never work with our artists. I don't know if you're planning to feature any artist in your album. Because it will really mean a lot to us as uh, your Kenyan fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I mean, it might happen, man. I've been, uh, I've been seeing uh, Xenia a lot. Zania, yeah, Manasseh. Yeah, yeah, she's got a lot of with me, so that might happen, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's amazing, bro. I'm happy so. to hear that. And uh, you write songs for artists, yeah? That one, I'm sure. I will. You write some songs for artists. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, uh, which is that one artist you wrote a song for and it blew up so madly here? If you don't mind uh, telling us. Uh, that blew up, I, I'm not really sure if it blew up a lot here. Yeah. But um, I think it must be Boiti. Uh huh. Yeah, What's the name of the song? song? What's that? What's that? Yeah. Ah, okay. We're gonna be checking out uh, the song. Actually, I never knew you wrote that song, but uh, for Kenyans watching, we're gonna go check it out. Uh, for you being a part of it, obviously, it's a big song and such, bro. You know. Yeah. And uh, one thing I know about you, you got a recording label yeah. called uh, Tall Tall Rocks. And uh, you ever thought of signing an artist from outside South Africa? Oh, 
Um, I haven't thought of signing another artist, period, from or not from South Africa. Um, purely because we're still working a lot with Rolene, you know? Oh, okay. That happened first. Mm -hmm. um, so before anything happens, uh -huh. we still had to, like, yeah, okay. okay, bro. And uh, if I may ask you, um, I, I think you had uh, of Banner Boy saying uh, if he started a recording level, you'll be the first artist to sign from yeah. Africa. And uh, now you're having your own recording level. I don't know what you think about that. It's dope, man. I, I know where it comes from. Like, I know why he said that. You know, Burner is a, a, a real, genuine guy. He supports my music. He's a, he's a fan of my talent. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, vice versa. I think that's why he said it, man. Oh. Burn is my, it's like my big bro, man. Oh, okay, bro. Yeah. And uh, if I may ask you, yeah, how many artists does your recording label have? Just one. Just one. Just one. Oh, okay. okay. And uh, going on forward, yeah. I was once on your live on Instagram, yeah? Yeah. And uh, you said you'll battle Eminem on a rap battle. Do you no, think no, you no, still no, do it today? No, no. I didn't say it like that. What did you say, bro? I, I, have the, I said. The video, bro. No, I said, I didn't say I would battle him in a rap battle. Yeah. I would get embarrassed if I did that. No, Eminem should really, go. Bro. No, no, no. I think no, he no, raps no, no, no. fast, you know. Yeah, no, no. He just he, raps fast, bro. Not just. But that. you have punchlines, you get. So does he. What do you mean, man? I mean, he does, but, bro, okay, in your own way, you're in your own league, See, man. See. Yeah, yeah, I meant it like this, like if we had to make like a banger, something that was catchy, something that even girls would know every word to and be able to sing along to and dance to and feel sexy to, I would win. Oh, you know, that's yeah, what I said. Yeah. Oh, know? that's what you meant. That's what I meant. Yeah, oh, okay, that's what I said. Yeah. And, uh, okay, I'm going to be talking more about uh, <coughs> your past, or rather yeah. your private life a yes, little bit. Yeah. Uh, your mother passed away while you were 11 months old. Yeah. And uh, in one of your songs with Ranton, you say, I wish I'm gonna meet with my mama when I'm gone. Yeah. yeah that's one of your lines. Yeah. And uh, I would want to know, um, uh, what's the one thing that you feel uh, you miss out in your life? <coughs> the fact that she's not there. You were raised by your father, uh, who is right. called uh, David. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, how does that make you feel being the person you've become today and all the success you've been able to attain in your life? Um. I don't know if it had a huge impact because I had a lot of stepmothers and I have sisters. Um, I have a sister that I grew up with who pretty much took care of me most of the time, you know? So it's not like, it's not like I'm lost in terms of like knowing what a mother figure is or, or how to take care of a woman or what it's like for a woman to take care of me. I know what that feels like, you know what I mean? I just always wished, like the other kids, that I, I, get I knew my mother, you know what I mean? And does that make you feel sometimes empty or low or something like that? Sometimes, sometimes. But have, considering that she passed away before I even had a proper consciousness, it's not like I have any memories or moments that make me miss her because I don't remember her at all. You know what I mean? So it's like not that much damage done there because it's like I don't know what I'm missing out of anyways. Oh. You know what I mean? Yeah. And do you have that one special woman in your life that maybe you call sometimes and uh, be like, like you take her like your mom, you know? Maybe you can call her and say, this is how much I've been able to achieve. You know, sometimes you feel like calling someone when you yeah, achieve yeah. something big and sad. Yeah. Do you have any in your life? Nah. You don't? Nah, nah, I don't. That's uh, really sad, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it's cool, man. It's cool. I've, I, like, I didn't grow up being that type of kid anyways, you know? Yeah. We had a, a very unique relationship with my father. All my, my parents, pretty much, you know what I mean? It wasn't that that type of relationship where if I did something or achieved something, I'd call them and say, look what I did. I didn't have that type of relationship. So I've always just been the type of person to achieve something and celebrate it by myself. Right? And uh, if I may ask you, what does your father think about the achievement you've been able to achieve in your life at uh, such a young age? Oh, he's very proud. He's proud of you. Very proud, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. And uh, getting off from your private life and such, uh, do you believe you're the best rapper in Africa? The best rapper? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't like giving myself those type of titles. Why? I don't know, man. It just brings a conversation that I don't like to be a part of, you know? But, uh, we have we have a lot of amazing uh -huh. rappers. Some of them haven't even seen the, the spotlight, you know? Yeah, so, yeah. who am I to say I'm the best? But uh, so far, according to me and according to some other people outside there, and big names have been saying you're the best rapper in Africa. If you guys say it, I'm okay with it, you know? Oh, okay, bro. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, you've worked with Davido, you've worked with French Montana, you've worked with T.I. All mm -hmm. of them come from different countries, yeah. you know. And I uh, want to know, okay, you've seen you're working with Zenia Manasse. And uh, I wonder if there's any Kenyan rapper you know, or rather ever listen to the music apart from Calligraph and the rest. Um, not really, no. Like Shaba, Sha is it Shaba Man? Shaba Man, yeah, him. 
uh, I used to listen to him before I even blew up, like his uh, when he was still with Camp Mula. Camp Mula, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, him, I guess. Him only, yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. So, should we expect uh, anything with any in Kenyan artist in the future apart from Zenia Manasseh or something like that? Oh, you never know, man. These things always kind of happen spontaneously, you know? It's always like a, a weird incident where we bump into each other and we exchange contacts, or maybe we meet in a place where there's a mic or music playing, you know what I mean? Then you do something. Then we do something. Oh, okay, that's amazing. Kenyan artists happen to love a South African music of style mm -hmm. uh, called them on piano. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will wonder if uh, you guys uh, listen to our music or rather play our music in South Africa. I wouldn't really know, man. I don't go out that much. I don't go out that much, so I don't really know what people listen to. Oh, to be honest. Music, yeah. yeah, to be honest, I don't really know. People play different types of music. Like, obviously, you'll find clubs that play more house music and more like our indigenous genres then you go to other clubs where they play Afrobeats so they play different types of music you know I know uh, Sati Soul can go to SA and do a show so there must be people listening oh. you know what I mean and, uh, now if I may ask you yeah have you ever heard of type of music called uh, Gengeton your entire yeah, life I have, I have. you have yeah. uh, in South Africa or here in Kenya I don't know where I heard the term from yeah I, I've definitely heard it I don't think there's anyone who hasn't heard that oh, term. okay yeah. uh, do you know any artist who does that sort of music no I don't you don't. don't. Oh, okay, that's amazing, bro. And uh, Nasty, thank you so much for coming through, bro. I appreciate. Appreciate you having me. Yeah, bro.